That's looking much better. It's doing much better and it's sounding much better. Go for a scratch pass, clean up pass. Got 150 deep, so we still got another 50 to 60. Looking 10 thousandths of pass. I'm getting real close to my size. My thread's looking great. I'm just taking a few thou at a time and then checking the screw. Believe it or not, that was the first time it actually started in there like that. It looks like I've got a little bit to go, so it's trying to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep scraping a little bit at a time. This is a this can be a real time consuming thing right here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I drop my tool back in. I'm gonna go two and a half on the dial. like this, we're going to keep scraping it until that screw goes. I 
bring it out. Drop my tool over, bring the cross slide back. Blow the chips out. I am putting just a little bit of pit and trade oil on the end in case it starts in there. And it's too tight, I don't want it trying to catch and uh, stick in there. like we got we got it that time that last pass there I showed you that's what I've been doing was taking about two to two and a half on the dial because every time I would try to start it it just felt like it was bottomed out and I just so happened to show you you know it went in there so I'm checking the backlash I'm trying to keep it from spinning here but I'm getting approximately three thousandths I've got it all the way up in this um, I've got it screwed all the way up in where the, the screw and the nut always sit most of the time all right, so I believe we got about what we have on the first nut that I made. So I'm going to leave it, <laughs> leave it just like it is. I was trying to shoot for like, you know, one, but you just got to really get lucky to, to do that. So here it is screwed all the way up to the very last of the thread. And that was the backlash that I was looking for right there. So on the non-war section of the screw, I did great. But what we're seeing is the wear, obviously, in the screw. But you know what? This is a vast improvement over what was on the machine before. So I'm not complaining. I'm happy with it. And I'm ready to, I'm ready to go forward and uh, move on to the other things that need to be addressed. Well, look at that. We got four, four nuts now. <laughs> That's kind of funny how we went from one to, to four, but what I was doing here was I'm just going to give you a close up and let you see the difference in the threads, mainly just between the, uh, the first two that I made. These are the, these are the two that I machined. Now here is the original. This is the original nut. All right, this is the, the extra one that had come in, and I can tell that this one has been made. Somebody has machined this, and it's got more wear in it than mine does. So that's why this one was out of the question of uh, using it. So, all right, now here's the one that we just finished up, and I'm trying to get you a better shot of the, of the threads. I'm really happy with the way the threads look in there. They have a real pretty finish. And I did accidentally scratch the, the peaks of the threads a couple times, uh, bring it out. That's where I didn't retract the tool back far enough whenever I was coming back. And it's so minor that you couldn't, I couldn't tell that I had done that. But another one of those minor annoyances, but it'll work. It's not going to affect the way the thread works. All right, so there's that one. Now this is the first one that we had made. And you can see the difference there. And the reason being, I didn't have enough clearance under the cutting edge of the tool. And it was actually right on the verge, it was rubbing instead of trying to uh, shear it cleanly. And that's what the difference was there. The problem is I didn't want to break my setup down and lose track of you know the alignment of the thread there. So I was just trying to go with it and uh, try to get it to work. And, it, and this will work, but you know, over the weekend and into the weekday, it's just been on my mind it's been bothering me so i wanted to just go ahead and take the time and redo it that's why i bought 12 inches of material in case i need to make another one 
The other side of it looks beautiful. That side of the threads just really looks good. But the cutting side of it, not so much. So I've got a nice paperweight there to uh, remember <laughs> remember my mistakes and what you know what we learned. I took the, the tool and I ground more relief under the cutting edge so that I wouldn't have that problem right there. And it worked out better. So another learning lesson and now the next time I cut some Acme threads is something that I'll keep in mind, you know, things that I had done wrong that you learn from. So there we go. There is the new nut and I'm ready to uh, move on and, and start working on some other parts on this tool head here.